What is going on, everybody? It's Taylor Roberts, and welcome to Off the Deep End. If you're just joining us for the first time, we're in the middle of a Madonna deep dive. We are exploring Madonna's artistry through her music, music videos, and live performances, which means new Madonna reactions until we reach the end of her discography. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on this channel. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Give us a follow. Guys, we are in the Ray of Light era, and I am super excited because you guys have been telling me that Ray of Light is even better than Bedtime Stories, which I don't know if that could be possible because Bedtime Stories was such a perfect album. But we're going to find out today. If you're looking for more Madonna content, you can find exclusive Madonna Deep Dive bonus reactions on Patreon, where for $5 a month, you can get access to bonus content, early access to album reactions, a song and music video request thread, and a lot more. And that $5 goes directly into helping support the channel and doing these deep dive series. So go and check that out. There is a link down in the description. And guys, I don't even want to waste any more time. I just want to get into the album because I'm ready to go. So let's do it. Starting off with a little ambient vibe already, okay. This feels like it was ripped out of a Frozen movie. <laughs> So mellow and calming. Should I wait for you? My substitute for love never felt so happy. The face of you that good little switch. Sounds in this. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay, they do transition. Okay, this is good. Okay, so we're gonna do this album a little bit differently than if there are some transitions in like this. I may not pause and talk every single song. I may just let it run through in every three or three songs or so. I'll pause and I'll talk about the songs if that's okay with you, just so we don't kill the vibe of the album. But right off the bat, Again, Madonna changing up her sound, getting a little even more, getting even more experimental. I mean, some of those sounds in Drowned World Substitute for Love uh, is just so unique and added so much texture to the overall sonics of the song. And then that little vocal chop she used in there, it was an interesting choice because it didn't really add a a a huge significant impact to the song itself but whenever it popped up it caught you off guard and it definitely brought your attention to it so it's interesting interesting use of it being more of a tool to pull you in than it was to just be a piece of the music you know it felt a little bit separate there 
almost like you're in two worlds at the same time a bit, if that makes any sense. All right, let's keep it going, y'all. Great way to open up the album. Great opener. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. From vocal style is a lot different on this album too, but I love it. It's just showing it off a lot more. This part right here. Oh. Carry. Ah. I don't know why this simple hum is my favorite part of the song with the harmony. Oh. Two songs in, I feel like I just ate a shit ton of shrooms, <laughs> and now I am just coasting, vibing along. I'm just going on a trip right now, a spiritual trip, a uh, 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 transcendental trip. It's the sonics. It's the sonics of the music. It, it creates this environment. It creates this mood where it's... It feels peaceful and relaxing, and it's just so, so, so chill, which is a little bit of what we got in Bedtime Stories as well, but I feel it's it's taking some of those songs and just pushing the envelope even more musically, structurally, and vocally. I mean, the way Madonna is singing on some of these songs is, is uh, quite different from how we've gotten... Her vocals delivered to us before on her prior album. So, uh, I mean, we're definitely seeing a growth from Bedtime Stories, which is crazy because Bedtime Stories was just a huge, a huge thing, a huge growth in itself. So, um, but you guys already know that and I should know by, by now, but I, that I should never know what to expect when it comes to an album because the sound is constantly changing. Title track. Oh, yeah. This is a little more upbeat feeling. It's like when your alarm wakes off, you just had like a really nice night of sleep. And you're like, ah. Your coffee's on automatic start. You know it's going to be a good day. And then the drugs kick back in. <laughs> and you're like, fuck. Falsettos here. Ooh. 
Whew. Okay. Yeah, she's definitely showcasing her vocals on this on this album. I loved how that one just kind of drop kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> it started off just so like kind of like the last two where it's just like chill and vibe. Like I said, it's like ah, you're waking up from a nice nap or you had a good night's sleep or whatever. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> The acid that you thought you have finally worked off from the last two songs suddenly kicks back in and then you're kicked in the nuts and out of your body. That's that's the way I can describe this right now. This 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 album. See, Bedtime Stories was like a good lucid dream. It was like a good lucid dream. You know, you're still a little subconscious traveling around in the in the lucid world. This is more of just a complete total drug infused out of body experience where you're just seeing fractals and shit and you know maybe even Madonna's face staring at you singing to you while you travel down you know this beam of light or this I guess I should say ray of light uh that would make more sense because the album is called ray of light it's not called beam of light Taylor it's a ray of light Again, the the experimentation in the sounds that she's using is unlike anything that we've heard yet album wise. Sonically, this album is just overall just crazy amazing. And again, noticing the way that Madonna is able to pick up genres, musical genres, and infuse them into her work and genres that aren't quite mainstream yet. I mean, this one, I mean, you had, you know, early 90s, you had 90s just grunge rock just plastered all over that. It was like the iconic kind of Madonna sound that she'd been playing with for the last couple of years, but then you add that grunge rock in there and it gives it a completely different feel. It gives it a, just a, a dirty, just, you know, dirt and shit all over the walls. <laughs> I don't know why there's, there's not shit all over the walls, not like legit shit all over the walls, but you know what I mean? There's like shit all over the walls, like shit, shit, like stuff, not, sh not shit, shit. This, that'd be completely that just that would just be disgusting if that was that that is not what that song was that song was not shit on the walls but i just picture shit on the walls if that makes sense Ooh, i'm liking how this one is starting Excited. Where is this going? But I'm kind of scared at the same time. Oh, what the fuck, man? I'm just flying through space right now. Production on this is just fucking incredible, man. I've got this thing. I want to make a correction. As I say, sound like the stupid things I said before. 
I gotta change the lighting up. The thing I'm loving about these songs right now is that a lot of these songs are five minutes, six minutes long, but there's so much going on production wise and vocally that they don't even feel like that. You just get so lost in the music itself that it seems like time just does not seem to exist or it moves quicker than what is actually real time time by the way skin is like bedtime stories part two sonically vocally production wise i mean it's like you you could probably play bedtime stories and transition it right into skin and they would sync up so well together bedtime stories part two skin harding that one again shout out to the production on this fucking amazing I lost my ray of light back into that iconic 90s house That song was fun. It was all right. It wasn't quite at the level of the last couple songs we've listened to, but it was okay. It was okay. It reminded me of more kind of like erotica style Madonna. Oh. Trancy. go we're in the future now baby we're living in 2023 The way she incorporates a guitar into the music when you don't think guitar at all in this. This little drum break. And then back in the four on the floor. 
I'm hearting this one too. Just because of the pacing. The pacing is fucking top notch on this one. Oh. Look at this industrial style. Okay. Okay. A little bit of industrial in here. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna get into some spiritual type shit here. She must have gone through some like self-discovery type shit before making this album. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling this one as much. It's definitely some Bollywood type shit for sure though. I feel like it'd be a good song for dope ass Bollywood break down dance down in the film yeah this is one of those 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 self-discovery songs where uh the artist the artist you know goes on a self-exploration journey to go find themselves or whatever and then uh they come back after doing a shit ton of drugs and then make a song like this a la like the beatles <laughs> or any fucking rock band like in the 70s man i mean heavy 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 70s influence there um in the vocals and but also in the production um but i just i just wasn't vibing with that one as as much as as the others unfortunately maybe i need to go on some sort of self discovery thing or something like that to be more into it I don't know. It's on a bucket list. Ooh. I'm liking how this one's starting, though. Very cinematic. The sweeping strings. What is this? What is this? Oh. You're so consumed with how much you get. Oh. This one I'm vibing with, right off the bat. Now there's no point in placing the blame. And you should know I suffer the same. If I lose you, my heart will be broken. Love is a bird, she needs to fly. This is... Something else. Harding this one for sure. And I love just the cinematic aspect of the song.
Oh. 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 Just take me away, baby. Top three. This is this is this has gotta be top three for me. For this album, song wise. Top three. Is this gonna transition into something? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, it kinda did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll re I'll restart that song. Um What I really like so far is that this album is very I've, I've mentioned already the production is top notch on it. Like production is just out of this world on it. But vocally, Madonna is focusing more on the melodies here in this album than I feel like she has in any other of the albums she's done in the past. I mean, there's a lot of times, a lot of times in these songs where she's just humming a melody, but it's something about the melody in the way that she constructs it constructs it that just it, it it adds just so much to the overall sonical experience of the album and that's why i love melody so much because you can create so many different kinds and so many different vibes and you don't even have to sing lyrically i mean if she were to do this album just all melodies and humming personally i think i'd be okay with it <laughs> i don't think you wouldn't fucking need lyrics for this album Hey. Your heart is not open, so I must go. Okay. This is another one of those songs that was has been locked away in my subconscious. And I knew that literally right after those first couple of words that she said in the melody. I just know it's locked in there because I'm like, okay, I've heard this before. God, see, this is this is this is what these deep dives are about. It's what the, it's it's what they're about. It's discovering songs locked away in my subconscious growing up that I never knew was locked away in there until I actually hear them again and then figure out, oh shit, it's fucking Madonna. I know this song. No this is a good one. This is a good one. Madonna's still trapped in my subconscious, man. She's still in there. I'm still <laughs> discovering her in there. The syllables in her lyrics and the way she sings each one, taking it on a coaster like this. Oh. Yeah, this one is, this one's beautiful. Definitely heartless one. I have to. I have to. It's been stuck in my brain for so long. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. Again, see the focus on the melodies here. This is like some interdimensional lounge music. <laughs> That one was okay. That was okay. I was I was vibing along with it, but again, not quite for me connected to a lot of the other songs on this album. I have something to say about this album, and I want to say it, but I'm going to say it at the end when I give my total just review of this album. But I am noticing that... Uh, she has incorporated a lot of kind of like Middle Eastern influences into the music this time. Uh, you want to talk a lot about the melodies, the style of her singing, um, that that the kind of cadence that she has, or when she's riffing on the songs, there's some very Middle Eastern um, influences there. Uh, I, I can't remember the exact stun, the name of the singing that you would, you know, you would hear. Um, I can't remember the name of the style it is, but I, I, I think you guys understand where, where I'm, I'm coming from, um, or at least what I'm, what I'm trying to point out. Um, and it, it, you heard it there in To Have and Not To Hold, but it's also in Frozen and a couple of other songs on this album. Um and it, it's it's totally unique and different from from again vocal style she's had in any of the last albums that she's done. Ooh. Little star. You talking to me? Am I a little star? Never forget how to dream, butterfly. Gone 
I'm not gelling with this one either, guys. I think this is probably my least favorite song on this album. It's just a little too repetitive for me. chalk that one up to being my least favorite on this album so far i got a lot to say about this album i do i promise i do and i'm gonna say it at the end but we got one song left mer girl are we gonna is it, are we talk about like a mer girl like a mermaid a mer girl more mermaid influences we're going back to like the true blue experience <laughs> This one feels like it was like pulled off from a musical, like a musical film. The storytelling is great in this, by the way. Leaves covered my face and smudged across my back. Black sky opened up, blinding me. I ran to the forest, I ran to the trees, I ran and I ran. I was looking for me. I ran to the lakes. Up to the hill I ran and I ran I'm looking there still And I smelled her burning flesh Her rotting bones Her decay I ran and I ran I'm still running away. That was a bit of a lackluster finish. That was a bit, uh, that was it. That was it. That was it. Why she chose to close the album out with that song, I do not know. <laughs> it just, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be a controversial review. I already know it. I already know it's going to be a controversial review. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say what I need to say. I mean, no doubt about it. It is a sonically and productionally, a production. It's just a complete departure from bedtime stories, production wise, sonics wise, um, vocal wise, melody wise. You definitely see heavy, heavy, heavy improvements and sounds that she decided to take from bedtime stories and say, okay, let me make a full album of this, but let me do it better, right? 
But here's the thing. I like bedtime stories a whole lot more than I did Ray of Light. And I think it's because bedtime stories just it's it's the bedtime stories is so consistent it's track listing and it's sequencing is 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 so well done the mix and types of genres and the sounds that you get is is so well done it's a bit of an easier listen i mean i would still listen to bedtime stories in the car on the way to work you know um ray of light is something just drastically different and i don't necessarily think it's meant for that kind of listening ray of light is one of those albums where you need to be a bit at least for me personally in a somewhat different altered state of mind to really really grasp what is going on because there is so much going on production wise uh, you know, little, little, little grains and textures in the backgrounds of the songs and the way that she's mixed her vocals or mixed certain instruments and, and created this sonic universe that you get sucked into. It really is the way I would describe it is like an out of an out of body experience that you have when you've just taken a shit ton of drugs and you're going on a self-exploration, a self-discovery adventure. And that's why it's hard to judge Ray of Light for me because I'm just here, I'm sitting in an office talking to you guys uh, and, and listening to it for the first time. But it's a drastic different, it's, it's only like scratching the surface of what the album and and everything that he's put in it could be. Um, You know, I'm sure if I were to, you know, smoke a little bit, it would give me a completely, I would just a completely different outlook and perspective on the album, just sonically. And that's what I feel like this album is is and there's there's some artists that had that have an album like that it's not really such an easy listen it's more of a a kind of specific 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 niche i don't want to say it's necessarily a niche but you know what i mean It, it fits a specific type of 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 vibe that you need to be in in order to really fully unleash the full extent of the album. And I've heard albums like it before where I'm like, you know, first listen, you're like, I'm just like, it's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's an okay album, but then you listen to it in an altered state of mind. You're like, Whoa. Oh, it's like, it's like a key that unlocks a treasure chest and you open it up. You're like, Oh shit. You know what I mean? Um, And I feel like this is what that album is. Is just 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 because there is so much going on in the album, but I do like Bedtime Stories better than Ray of Light. Bedtime Stories so far has been my favorite album, but I wouldn't rank Ray of Light lower than top five. You know what I mean? I mean, there's still some great great songs on Ray of Light. Um, You know, we opened up with Ray of Light, kind of just introducing us into the sound we're going to get into. uh, Drowned World Substitute for Love. Great, great introduction because it's it's not too heavy to where you're like, what what the what just happened? But it eases you into what you're about to get into throughout the album. Um, Ray of Light was great. I love just the pacing of it. Skin was great. Sky Fits Heaven. Frozen was amazing. The Power of Goodbye, again, another song that has been locked in my subconscious that I did not know about, but amazing, amazing song. And then the last kind of three songs were a little bit lackluster, um, and I feel like this kind of where it it lost its its shine a little bit is in these last three songs. I mean, we probably could have gone with The Power of Goodbye and just had a solid, like, 10-song album, and I think it would have been even stronger. But those last three just kind of 
kind of took it downhill a little bit. I feel like I, it's one of those albums that you need to be in a certain type of different mindset to listen to just because of how sonically heavy and and in and in euphoric inducing it is it's it's really one of those self exploration self discovery type albums that you need to sit in a dark room you need to drink a little bit you need to smoke a little bit you need to just close your eyes you just need to throw your headphones on lay back relax and just let it take you but let me know your guys' thoughts about the album down in the comments guys i know it's going to be i didn't, i know this review is going to be controversial cuz i know the build up to this you guys are like oh man he's going to love ray lights he's going to and i did i liked it i liked the album and it's definitely ranked top 5 albums for madonna so far but i don't know if i can say top 3 that's the thing again though guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments like the video share the video remember we're in the middle of a madonna deep dive where we are exploring madonna's artistry through her music music video and live performances which means new madonna reactions until we reach the end of her discography so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on this channel hop on over to instagram twitter twitch give me a follow if you would like to help support the deep dive in the off the deep end YouTube channel. There is a Patreon link down in the description where for $5 a month, you can get access to tons of exclusive Madonna bonus reactions, uh, early access to album reactions, a song and music video request thread, and a lot more. So go and check that out if you got the time. Guys, we're gonna be moving into the music video for this era. There should be a poll up on the, on the community tab now. Go and vote and see what music video you would like me to react to but of course all of the music videos will be reacted to but posted on the patron just one of them is going to be posted to youtube due to the copyright reasons you guys know how it goes unfortunately um but thank you for watching i truly do appreciate it guys shout out to all of our new subscribers welcome to our little growing community we're happy to have you and until next time guys until next time take care Stay safe, and I'll see you then.